go get him again. Welcome back to the Rob Zoe channel. I'm your host, Mark. And on the docket today, we have an unboxing first impression video on the brand of Byredo. This one right here called Velvet Haze. Never smelt it from the brand. We're going to unbox this little guy and see what it's all about. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you're subscribed or not. Much appreciated, much love. This particular release, I don't think it had any real traction in the fragrance community. So I'm looking forward to delving more into the crates of Byredo. I've been delving here and there ever since they basically returned on my channel. It started with Pulp and Belle de Frick, and then it was Crickets on my channel for probably 10 years um, until I smelt uh, Tobacco Mandarin, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I started delving more into them. You know, I've sampled, I think, Mojave Ghost, Bibliotech. Um, so I got a few more under my belt, and now this is gonna be another one here in 2024. Let's see what this one has in store for me. Let's take a little, let's take a look at the notes of this one. As per Fragrantica, and as you know, Fragrantica, not always the best source of getting notes, but at least you kind of get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. The nose behind this is Jérôme Epinette. Um, I believe this is going to be a musky little number and you know, that would fit right into the minimalistic um, Byredo kind of vibe, honestly. Um, I see coconut water in here. Um, I don't see anything super, there's cacao, um, which can be dense, um, but I'm not assuming anything uh, patchouli. You never know what you can get with that one. So the big bottle, Velvet Haze here. Um, this is a return product from Flag Flex. If you know, you know. Um, we're gonna be talking about Flag Flex later on on uh, this video. But uh, yeah, a bunch of return products came my way and we are going to delve into them on my channel. So hopefully you're enjoying this, especially to my current subscribers. I know I've been peppering you with a bunch of unboxings. Once we get all these out of the way, we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, my unboxings, test drives, sampling samples, maybe a seasonal list, maybe. We'll see if I feel in the mood. Let's put Velvet Haze on strip and then it'll be my scent of the day today. Atomizer <laughs> went a little weak sauce there for a second, but uh, redeemed itself. Uh, Byredo, a brand that I'm lukewarm on. I'm actually, you know, uh, my thought process with it is I'm starting to enjoy them a little bit more, but not, oh, sorry, I smelled something. I smelled coconut. Yeah, it's a brand, not bad. Um, yeah, it's a brand that I'm, I'm warming up to, but I'm not, you know, in love with. I'm not excited uh, to sniff the next Byredo. I'm just kind of going through the motions. I'm seeing that there is some quality there, um, but we'll see. This one right here. Yeah, it's 100% uh, what I perceive the brand of Byredo. Um, it has this light coconut note, milky. Um, don't think suntan lotion. Um, it doesn't have that tropical vibe, which is weird because you always think of coconut as tropical. Here it's true to itself. Um, it's more like the true coconut, like there's an actual coconut. This is not suntan lotion. It's not, you know, it really is. And it's not making it tropical, which is kind of weird. It's, it's interesting. It's watery. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's milky, but it is coconut water-esque. Um, kind of like you have, you know, you, you just split one open. Very realistic, Epinet. Um, as far as Jerome's um, resume goes, he can make you know fruity notes and 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 citruses quite authentic. Honestly, um, his builds you'll see through his resume. Um, he can do that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of that in here in this coconut. Um, it is paired with the clean white muskiness. Um, so already there's not much here. Um, a little bit of patchouli I'm getting. A little bit and. Um, a little bit of cacao, like you have to almost dig, dig through the crates and kind of, like Velvet Haze is a pretty good name for this one. Um, it's hazy, it's artsy, um, very minimalistic, like a picture by Rado, but at the same time has some complexity behind. Um, is there ombrette in here? 
I feel like I'm getting like an iris like quality with the coconut and the musk kind of making this like a really white fluffy kind of thing. So let's put it on skin and see what my skin tells me. Maybe a different story, maybe the same story. Uh, maybe it'll excite me a little bit more. We will see. No, it really is <laughs> gray, white, ah, patchouli, okay. A little bit of earthiness, a little bit of chalkiness, uh, powdery perhaps, I would go more almost chalky. It has like a, almost a honeyed sweetness, like not an artificial sweetness. It has a little bit of a, a cashmere-like feeling, um, which is really interesting. It has, it's got white florals too. It's very strange that it's not bringing me, I don't know, I just keep, hammering at the same idea like why isn't this tropical to me um i think it's the patchouli in here maybe but it's not and it's patchouli it's there um it's much more pronounced on skin than it was on here this was very much more thinned out this is a thin fragrance though the patchouli is really restrained well done by the perfumier to just kind of continue to the theme of this White musk, coconutty, ombre, um, clean scent, a um, little lactonic, a little bit of honeyed sweetness. Uh, uh, cacao's in here, but you have to kind of dig like it's not a gourmand, chocolatey thing. The coconut, not suntan lotion, like more of the the real deal. Um, it has white florals. I don't know, tuberose, maybe jasmine, either or. I think it's tube rose. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Velvet Haze. Um, you know, it kind of is, it's leaving me. And again, this is just an unboxing, but it's kind of leaving me into this little nowhere land with Byredo and, and it just their packaging and their minimalistic style. Like I really liked the watercolor esques of the pulps and the bad sticks and, and obviously the dark, darker tones of some of the darker uh, releases. This really feels like Mojave ghost where it, it leaves me, um, I wouldn't say uninspired, but it, it, it kind of leaves me like, this is so gray, so white. Um, so indifferent smells good. Um, smells very minimalistic. I mean, it's not, it's there, but it's not like, like if I could compare it to like minimalistic, like uh, Jean-Claude Elena, like watercolor-esque, um, those have a lot more textures and, and, and colors to something like this, which is very gray, white. Um, like the colors are very non-color. Um, it really is... It, but it also intrigues me because it has coconut, it has a white floral, you would think even ombre, you would think that maybe it's the chalkiness of the ombre in here and the musk, the patchouli grounds it, so maybe it's taking it away from the tropical feel that I'm, I was assuming I would be getting, I don't know. It, it's... <laughs> It's artsy that I'm, I'm intrigued. And if you know me and you know my channel, you know that uh, my palette's wide. Um, would it be something that if I went, like, let's say I'm not me and I'm just walking into a Byredo store and I am start sniffing them back to back to back to back, which is a poor way. It's a good way, but it's a poor way of actually really sitting down with a fragrance and getting to know it in an artistic way feeling or setting, um, I really like bringing home samples and just do my own thing for a day with it, a day or two, and just see how it does on my skin. But if I'm going back to back to back, you almost go to your gut feeling of, you know, I would be more inclined of buying the tobacco from this brand um, to buy the pulp from this brand. Those would be like the ones that would go, aha, like the aha mo. I don't need to sit down and, and kind of figure out the story 
of the fragrance. And this really, to me, and it, and it's funny because I, I, I feel like this brand, even though my, you know, my purchases of the brand are much more vivid and brash or more unique, and maybe those are the ones I gravitate towards, it really feels like the brand itself is whole, wholly minimalistic. And this feels like so like Mojave Ghost where I'm like, I'm like, I can see the appeal. I can see the interest. Um, there is a part of me that wants to continue to smell this and see where this goes. And then there's another part of me that goes boring, right? Like it doesn't have any punch to it. Um, and they don't all need to have punch, but I feel like there, and there's a lot going on. Like when I'm saying boring, not in a crappy way. Like, you know, like when you first smell, like, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, a David Beckham fragrance. That's maybe boring poop. Um, <laughs> no offense. This is kind of like great, but at the same time, look, it's got lactonic qualities. It has like a honey light sweetness, which is kind of unique. The patchouli's, front and center on my skin, but it was really hidden on the strip. So again, those things like coconut, it's not showing me really a tropical vibe, but yet it's showing me, you know, a realistic coconut milky, no suntan lotion here, true to self. Um, there's some wateriness, there's some sweetness, there's some clean white musk, which isn't really interesting. There's cacao in here, but it's so minor. Um, Hazy is, is, haze is, is a good way to really artsy, minimalistic fragrance. Um, the main factor in here is kind of hard to, I could see maybe people going patchouli based. Um, I, I can see where you're going with that, but I would... I would be really, you know, amiss if I didn't say, hey, coconut has a, a big factor in here, ombre, um, um, uh, the musk, uh, very musky, uh, actually. Okay, so velvet haze, uh, leaving me in a haze. <laughs> now, um, interesting concept. Um, I don't know, I'm on, and again, these are true blue unboxings, right? You know, uh, you get fragrance reviewers that buy stuff with their own money and, and they, they feel like they have to be positive. They get free bottles, they have to be positive. Um, and they have to be positive to be an entertaining fragrance reviewer. That's not me. Like, I'm not into here to entertain you. I'm here to inform you. Um, and there's some ones that are gonna be great, good, not bad, so-so, and some that I'm just on the fence. I'm on the fence with this one. Um, it's not a automatic hit with me. And that happens with fragrances. Don't tell me that doesn't happen. So I got this, of course, at fragflex.com. You can too. Um, they have the huge lineup of Byredo. They have them. Um, it's a good time to go purchase Pulp and Belle d'Afric at this point. If they're not sold out yet, they usually do get sold out around this time. People go for their summer, spring scents. Around this time, this is where these things like Virgin Island Water from Creed and Millisime Imperial and all these really hit, you know, summer hits um, get snatched up at discounters really, really quick. Um, so good time to go check out those discounters, fragflex.com. You can use my code TFG10. You get 10% off on anything site-wide. doesn't have to be Velvet Haze. Um, now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. What do you think about this particular release from Byredo? Not a sexy release, not a brand new release, uh, kind of under the radar, uh, no free bottle brigade on this one. So. But I'd love to see some comments on this uh, particular release. Um, as far as the brand of Byredo, I am going through the motions and bringing some in, uh, you know, eventually. You know me, I, I don't just go into one brand and sometimes some brands get totally ignored for me for several years on my channel, unfortunately, and then I just go back to them kind of like them. So they, they're getting their shine at this moment. Um, enjoy it, Byredo fans, because then I'm gonna go quiet on Byredo for a while, <laughs> probably. Um, and as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.